We don't have any formal communication from the UK government. We have also seen their press statement in the media. And I have this to say. One, if indeed the UK has sanctioned the speaker, it's very unfortunate because they have proven to be either gullible, to believe in social media propaganda and manipulations, or they have confirmed their anger, their latent anger over the anti-homosexuality law which parliament is part of. But the UK stands to be informed that the anti-homosexuality law was not the initiative of the Speaker of Parliament, but it was an overwhelming demand, an overwhelming demand by the Ugandan citizens who believe, and rightly so, that Uganda and Ugandans have a right to preserve and promote their own sexual and marriage culture and norms. Uganda is no longer a British protectorate to wait for orders from Buckingham Palace. Two, the action of UK could imply that the UK government is an active participant in Uganda's local politics, thus targeting high-ranking national leaders in government at the urging of their foreign agents. Three, Uganda has regulatory, investigatory, and disciplinary institutions that deal with corruption, and none of them has found the speaker culpable. Therefore, the corruption allegations are as political and vendetta-driven as they come. Four, if the UK government cared about being fair and objective, mm. they should have known that the iron six that they are sanctioning the speaker for were given to several high-ranking government politicians by the office of the prime minister that is also responsible for disaster and emergencies in the country. And the office of the prime minister gave the iron six on the reason that MPs and ministers would distribute to their needy communities. The speaker's personal assistant who received the N6 indeed delivered them to public schools in Bukedia that were in distress. The iron sheets are there. The UK government has embassy here. They can drive to the villages in Bukedia and see for themselves. Later, government agencies, not the UK government, flagged office of the Prime Minister as having breached the distribution procedures of the iron seats. And the Speaker rebuked the ministers. She even bought new iron seats and gave to the office of the Prime Minister. How did the Speaker personally benefit from those iron seats when the procedures were breached at also the Prime Minister to even after her PA receiving them, they went and rooked public schools which are there. 
So how does she come to benefit? The UK government needs to play above petty local Ugandan politics. And lastly, but not least, the speaker's job is in Uganda, not UK. So a visa ban does not affect her duties in Uganda. And she's a very proud patriot who lives and breathes Uganda. She's happy to do her duties in Kampala, <coughs> go to Bukede where she was born, go to Busoga where she found her love, and in all of these places, she doesn't require a visa.